Today we are going to create this great crystal animation. On my YouTube channel you can find a Cinema 4D and a Blender version of each tutorial. Let's get started Arties. Select the cube in the camera and press X to delete them. Press add at the top of the bar and then select grid. Position the view so that the grid is visible from above. Select a new camera. Under the following menu item select 1080 by 1350 pixel to set the format. Set a checkmark at render region. Enter 144 for the end frame so that the animation lasts 6 seconds. Finally select the output format AVI JPG. Then select the camera view. Under the live symbol you can zoom out at transform Z. Then you can scale the plane so that it fits perfectly into the render region. Select the grid and press the blue tool symbol. Click on Add Modifier and select Subdivision Surface. At Levels Viewport and Render you enter 6. Then click on Add Modifier again and select Displace. Press on the symbol to insert a texture. Then go to Texture Properties. At Type select Stock Key. Then select Noise Basis, for Onoy F2 F1 and enter 0.3 for size. Activate Color Ramp and click on the color black. Select 0.055 to create boundaries between the crystals. Go back to the camera and zoom in a little so that the whole render region is filled. Go back to the texture properties. Set tubulance to 0 and set a keyframe. Move the slider to the end of the animation set tubulance to 0 and create a new keyframe. Then move the slider to the middle of the animation and enter 80 for tubulance and set a new keyframe. Now the grid is animated in a loop. To make it have the same speed throughout we need to edit the curves. Press the icon on the left and select the graph editor. Go to your curve and select all the points. Then go to key, then to interpolation mode and select linear. Now we switch back to the old view. Select the grid. Press the right mouse button and select Shade Smooth. Now we will create the material. Select the grid and go to Material Properties. There we set Metallic to 1 and reduce Roughness to 0, 0,17. At the top of the bar we select Shading. Then we press on the camera again to get our old perspective. 
In the top right corner change the viewport shading. Then we select world to change the ambient light. Go to add, then texture and select environment texture. Connect color with surface. Upload an image of your choice. I use an old graphic of mine that looks like this. Select mirror ball. Go to add, then color and select bright slash contrast. Go to the light level and press the X key to delete it. Select bright 0.04 and contrast 0.15. Search for hue slash duration. Select 2 for saturation, 1.3 for value and 0 for fac. Search for vector transform and connect it with the image. Set the vector transform to vector and set it to camera and world. Search for geometry and connect it with vector transform. With the key combination CMRD plus F12 you can render the animation. In the meantime, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that I have Patreon. There you can support me as an artist. You can choose between two packages. With the first package, you have exclusive access to all my Cinema 4D and Blender tutorial files from YouTube. In the second package, you also have access to the YouTube files, but also to my Instagram artworks. You can see inside the file how I work and what my tricks are. You also have access to my animations and 3D objects within the file. I will upload in both packages, several times a week new projects. Therefore, it will be especially worthwhile for you. Thanks a lot for your support. The animation is rendered. Under the folder button, you can see where it has been saved. In the second part of the tutorial, I will show you how I edit my animation with Adobe After Effects. Drag and drop the animation into the program. Search in the effect window for hue slash saturation. Enter 75 for master saturation and 10 for master lightness. Then search for Vibrance. Set the following value to minus 20. Duplicate the layer and set the blending mode to Multiply. Select the upper layer and press the T key. Set the transparency to 25%. 
Then search for the effect Edge Glow and enter 1000 for Edge Detect. That's it, the animation is ready to render. Well done Arties! To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload 1-2 to tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.